So, you have a classic GM car where you're rowing gears with a 3 or a 4 speed, you do an LS swap, and you're trying to figure out how to get your clutch linkage hooked back up. I am Nick with Skog and Dickey, and today's tech video, we are going to be discussing a product that we've been selling for years and is still very popular to this very day, and that is our clutch pivot ball brackets. These are an in-house design that we've been making for many years. Pretty high quality piece here, made of a very thick gauge stainless steel construction, and we use the factory style pivot ball to get the alignment just right. Now, let me explain a little bit of what's going on here and what you need to do. Now, this can apply to the new Gen 3 and Gen 4 LS, of course, the brand new Gen 5 LT as well, and any of you guys that have taken your small block or big block out put in a more modern small block or big block, like a Vortec 350, maybe a Gen 6 big block, and they do not have that clutch ball threaded port on the side of the block. That boss is no longer there. Now you're trying to figure out what to do. That's where these come in. These will work in all these applications. These are to hook your clutch linkage back up. These two bolts here will bolt on over the bell housing sandwiched by those two bolts and it will put this ball in the exact spot on the factory blocks. We also make one, this long one here if you were wondering. This is actually made for the Corvette guys. If you remember some of the older Corvettes, that ball is mounted much further up on the block because that engine is mounted so much further back on the frame relative to other GM cars that need the one like this. This one, of course, is made out of that same stainless steel, very thick gauge bracket. These are bent to put them in the exact space that you need them to be. This one does include a low and a high mount, so you can get the fitting just right. Some cars require this to be put on the high end, some of them require to be put on the low end. So we include both of those there. This has a welded boss on the back for this to screw in. This one, we did not weld a boss. We put the nut here so you can move it back and forth. Now, for you guys that are doing an LS or a newer LT swap, there is some things we do have to tell you. Unfortunately, there is a boss on the block that is redundant. It's not needed, but it does need to be cut off. And that is up to you to figure out how to do, whether it be a cutoff wheel or a sawzall, Whatever you feel comfortable doing, don't worry. There's nothing behind it to ruin as long as it's done right. Shouldn't be any problems at all. Unfortunately, if you're wondering why we didn't make these brackets to go around that ball so you didn't have to <laughs> break out a sawzall or a cutoff wheel in your brand new LS3 crate engine, if we were to put this ball spaced out of the way from that boss, well, then your clutch linkage wouldn't line up anymore. So unfortunately, that modification is absolutely necessary. But this is your solution to that problem. A lot of you guys are swapping in an LS or an LT, or of course a newer style small block or big block without that clutch ball boss anymore, and do not want to change your transmission. You're perfectly happy with a Muncie four speed. You don't need that T56. You don't need to swap to an automatic. You're not wanting to change your gears. You love them just the way they are, and that's where we come in. We really appreciate you guys stopping by for another one of our weekly tech videos. This one is a very popular product. We've been selling these for years. Our customers absolutely love them. You can find them on our website at sdparts.com. If you have any more questions, comments, or any ideas for anything else you want answered in the LSLT small block or big block world, please drop us a line and let us know. Also, give us a like or subscribe on Facebook and YouTube so we can push this information to as many people as possible. We'll see you again next Friday for another tech video. Thanks for stopping by.